So today we'll be taking a look at the program called the Tekken 7 Ninja Tool. This tool allows you to speed up the process of importing different 3D files into Tekken, as well as quickly making folders just for organization purposes in order to expedite the process of not only creating, but installing mods into Tekken. It has a variety of different purposes. However, today the main thing we're gonna focus on is mod management. So let's open up Tekken 7 Ninja Tools right here and let's take a look. You can see my folder right here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we're good to go. And now it just comes in a window here. You can make it full screen if you want it to. That'd probably be more helpful. So let's go ahead and do it from here. Why it's such a great tool is the fact that everything is clearly labeled and there's tutorials for every uh, function that the tool can do. So you see you have big gray buttons right here to show the info, to show the mod manager, the option to create a mod, it's all good, right? And uh, like I said, we're just gonna be focused on mod manager right now. When you first open this mod, then it'll automatically detect your Tekken 7 installation file. From then, it will populate the list of mods you have already installed in Tekken 7. This is very helpful, because remember, before this tool, I had to go here, go to your program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, uh, Tekken 7, I believe Tekken game, content, uh, packs, and then mods. And that's so tedious. Of course, you could have it on quick access if you're on Windows, but it's so helpful just to not even be able to need to go into that folder and simply use the tool straight from this window we have in front of us. So like I said here, these are all the mods I currently have installed for Tekken. And you notice it's broken down in between characters, stages, and even when it comes to other here, you'll see that uh, just everything else that doesn't fit in a particular category. But if you look on the right, and like I said, it's very clear to see what's going on. You have the active mods. These are the mods I have installed in my mods folder. And these are the not active mods. Now you might be wondering, without this tool, you either, you know, you'd have it maybe in some separate folder, but you only have the installed files in your mod folder that I showed you earlier. But the thing about this tool is that once it finds your tech in it, it populates your mods, it creates, a, it not only gives you the list of mods that are in the folder, but it creates a not active mods folder to where you can just have mods that you may want to install or you may not want to, or you may want to just keep them, or maybe they conflict with another mod, then it'll create a not, it'll not active mods folder. And you can see that right here, because this is my mods folder. And then it has all the mods that I've installed into the Ninja tool, but it's not installed in Tekken, if that makes sense. And it's a very simple um, method, but it works very well. And so now I can see, now you can imagine, like for instance, obviously I play Miguel, if you know my channel. And so here are the mods I have for Miguel. I have Miguel Glasses, Miguel KOF Ralph, and uh, Miguel, his Tekken 6 voice. But see, with this mod, I can just look, okay, I have collapsible, or if that's a word, collapsible windows, or drop down menus for uh, every character, or every character I have a mod for. So here you can see Miguel, bam, and then I can install any of these mods, and all I have to do is press like the McGarry hair, hair swap. All I have to do is press this arrow right here. Bam, and then it's done, and it's installed. If I wanna uninstall it, again, press this arrow right here, the one that, the right one that's going right, and then boom, it's uninstalled, and then it'll automatically be placed in the Miguel uh, tab. Now, the only thing you need to know is that there's a naming structure for the mod management. See, if you go up here to tutorials, it'll show you kind of um, what's the structure of the naming, uh, the naming structure is given. So pretty much if you begin the um, mod name with things like ANN underscore, or, and it gives you a list of the, um, the beginning phrases to where if it detects that beginning phrase and automatically will put it under that certain character. So Bob, B-O-B, stuff like that. So knowing this, and with the addition of the fact that it's easy to change the name of mods within the Ninja tool, you can also do it just with File Explorer, but it's everything's kind of uh, 
designed to where you can just do everything in-house. So for example, let's go ahead and install a mod right now. If I go to my file explorer, I actually have some Miguel mods that I want to install. So you see here, it says Miguel panels. Let's just install that. So again, I can just drag it into the mods folder here. But again, you want to, it's just easier to do everything in the Ninja tool. It was made for this. So all I have to do is seriously drag Miguel, Miguel panels, drag it any, anywhere and then drop it. And that's, that's it. And so if I scroll down here, it's already on Miguel because it, like I said, if you click on the tutorial and you uh, go to Miguel right here, then it will show you that if it's the text the title Miguel, then it'll put it in the Miguel slot. So in this case, I didn't need to rename it. But if I did want to rename it, once I select this, I press the R button and then I can easily rename the mod. So what if I just set panels and not Miguel and OK, then either it'll go to other or if the first letters matches a bracket or category of another character, then it will be automatically placed there. So in this case, panels, is just, it's not matching anything. So it just places it in other. But again, if I wanted to make sure that this is tied to Miguel, then just click it, rename, and then type in Miguel. This time I'll type in Mig underscore panels. And there you go. You see uh, right here, you, you see the mod. So now I've loaded up Tekken and just to show you guys that the panels have indeed been successfully installed. If I go here, and here you go. The only thing you have to watch out for is the delete function. So if you act, if I click here on the MIG panels I just created, and I click the X button, then it'll give me a warning. Do I want to delete it? However, once you do, once you actually delete it, then it doesn't go to recycle bin. It's permanently deleted. So that's something you need to keep in mind. And just for proof, let's go ahead and do that. Let's click yes. Let's get out of here. Let's go to recycle. And you'll see that in my recycle bin, there's nothing here. So you got, you definitely have to watch out for that and be, sh be totally sure you want to delete a certain mod, maybe have a backup of it before you actually go ahead and pull the trigger. And that's the end of the tutorial. Now, when you look here at my particular um, active mods, as well as my not active mods, yours won't look exactly like this when you first start out. It'll be named according to however the uh, creator named it when he packaged it and put it out for download. However, um, for me, I just went through all my mods. Every time I installed one, it made sure it was named uh, using the same nomenclature, you know, like the map with the map underscore right here. Uh, obviously you see Fang, Hey, and as well as the user interface, there's also, uh, naming structure for user interface as well as you see the HUD, the life bar, stuff like that. So, and even if there isn't one, then you see here on other, I kind of created my own to where the mod is not for a specific characters for all characters then I'll label it all and I'll label it effects, stuff like that. If it's just for girls, I have uh, all caps. I have uh, a girl's title and for guys, I have the same thing. So you just be creative with it. And, but you can see that it's, it's very well organized and structured. So I can clearly see who has what mod and it just makes for a, a easier and more fun time in terms of installing mods, mix and matching different mods to create different outfits. And you know, it's just very beneficial if you play Tekken on PC and you're into mods. So. That's all I gotta say, comment, uh, share this video if you found it helpful and I'll see you guys later.